Welcome to another Tech Help with Richard Rost, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In today's class, I'm going to teach you about the date diff function, which is going to be a function that we can use to determine the difference between two dates in your database. So today's question comes from Thomas. He says, Dear Richard, how can I have a field in my database that will represent the current date always? Not the current date of the record, but the actual current date, today's date. I'm trying to show items that are open for a certain amount of days. I work in the quality field and I'm creating a non-conformance database with queries for how long a non-conformance is open. So basically you've got records in your table and you want to be able to see the difference in days between some date in the table and today's date. So you can say, let's say you're doing when's the last date that the employee showed up for work and it was a week ago. You want to see a seven there. Or if it was two days ago, you want to see a two there. So basically, we're, we're calculating the difference between today's date and some other date in the database. So let's say we got a table here. We've got customer ID, our auto number, the customer name, short text, and customer sense. That'll be a date time field representing how long they've been a customer. Let's save this as my customer table primary key defined yes and of course I cover all this in my beginner class make sure you watch that if you don't know what I'm doing here all right so let's put some simple data in here all right customer is Joe and Joe has been a customer and let's see today's date is what's today's date today's date is uh, March 31st 2020 okay so let's put in here uh, 3 1 20 uh, 29 20 can't type today. There we go. Sue, that's from 2.15.20. And Bill from 1.199, just to see. Okay, now, since this is going to be a dynamic value, I'm not going to put a field in the table for it. Okay, um, I'm going to build a query, and the query will do the calculation using a calculated field. And I cover calculated fields in another video. I'll put links to all the things I mentioned in the description below the video. But a calculated field is something you, use, you do in a query to have access generate information on the fly. All right, so this is the data that's stored in the actual database in the table. Today's date's gonna change, so we're not gonna store that in the table. Save changes, yes. Let's go over to queries, create, query design. Let's add my customer table. And go ahead and bring in all the fields. I'll bring in the star. So if I run this query right now, you can see that's what we got. That's basically the fields from our table. Now, right over here, we're going to put in a calculated field that's going to determine the difference in the number of days between today's date and the customer sense field. Now, in access, whole days are given a value of one. Okay, so one day equals 1.0. Half a day, so 12 hours, is 0 0.5, half a day. So an hour is 1 24th of a day. So if you want to calculate the number of days between today's date and the date in the table, you just simply do a subtraction. The higher date goes first. And we can get the current date using the date function. All right? So I'm going to make my own calculated field here called num days colon and again I have a separate video on calculated query fields num days is going to be the date function that's date with open and close parentheses that's a function minus customer sense the customer sense field and yes access puts the little square brackets around it since it recognizes it at a, as a field all right let's save this as my num days q query and let's run it and now you can see there's the number of days difference between customer sense and today's date. And as today's date changes, this number will change automatically. You don't have to go in and redo anything. So if you want to see, you know, which customers have the oldest invoices or which employees haven't been into work or what your oldest customers are, that will do it. Now there is another way you can calculate the difference between two days and that's using something called the date diff function. So let's go back into design view. All right, right over here. Let's call this DD, that'll be the name of my field. We're gonna say date diff, open parentheses. Now the date diff function takes three bits of information. 
the first bit of information is what kind of time unit do you want to take the differences? You can do the difference in days. You can do the difference in weeks, in months, in years. So that's one of the reasons why the date diff function is versatile, because you can do the difference in, in different ways. So I want days. So it's just inside of quotes, put a D. So like quote D, close quote, and then comma. And then you want the two dates, all right? Date one, date two. So again, date, function, comma, customer, sense, like that. All right, save it, and then run it. And there you go. Oh, I got them backwards. It's showing up as negatives. Just flip the dates. The bigger date has to be on the end. I do that all the time. I can never remember which one's supposed to be first. All right, customer sense, comma, date, just like that. Or you can multiply it by negative one. All right, same results. The cool thing about date diff is you can do it, if you want like the number of weeks, for example. All right, so let's do, let me make this a little bit bigger here. Let's go DD and then a W for date diff weeks. You just change this to WW. Um, w is weekday, WW is full weeks. So now if I run it, you can see that's the number of full weeks. And that seems about right, right? Four, 30 days, four weeks, roughly. It's whole weeks, so you don't get a fractional component. Here's all the codes you can use. There's year, quarter, month, day of year, day, which is the one we f first started with. Weekday, which doesn't include the weekends, like Saturdays and Sundays. Weeks, and then hours, minutes, and seconds. So yes, date diff does also work with times. Now, if you really want to learn a lot about access and how it handles dates and times, my Access Expert 27 and 28 classes, I cover all kinds of stuff on working with dates and times in Access. I do things like I build an aged accounts receivable and I go through all kinds of different functions. I'll put a list of what's covered in those classes in the description below the text so you can see. But there's a link there that you can use to find those on my website. In fact, one of the things that people ask me the most about how to do in Access is how to calculate someone's exact age. Handy if you need to know if they're 21, for example. That's a little more complicated. It uses a different function called date serial. It's very useful. Um, if you guys want to see it enough, let me know. Drop a comment in the description below, and I'll, I'll maybe do a separate YouTube video on this. But I cover that in Access Expert 28 as well, how to cal calculate someone's exact age to the day. Actually, to the second. <laughs> If you want to learn more about the date function, I cover it in Access Beginner Level 5. And take a look in the description down there below. I've got some other links to other YouTube videos that I posted. Uh, calculating query fields, which is something that a lot of uh, beginner users need to learn how to do. Um, more on Access Date and Time Calculations, there's a link to that. And how to do this same thing in Excel. Uh, there's a date diff function in Excel, which is uh, undocumented. A lot of people don't know about it. And I teach you how to do that as well. Uh, hope you learned something. Make sure you subscribe and get notifications for new videos. And if you want to see your question answered right here on my YouTube channel, just email it to me. You can find all the contact information in the description field below. Let me give it to you right here on the screen. There it is. There's a link to my tech help page. You can drop your question there. Want to email me directly? There you go, amicron at gmail.com. I get lots and lots of email, though, so sometimes it's better to use the website. But if you do want to just drop me an email, go ahead right there. There's all my stuff. My blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. And one little bit of promotion. There's a link to my free Access Level 1 course, three hours long. If you want to learn from the best, from the basics, you can start right there. And if you like that, Level 2 is just one dollar so thanks for learning with accesslearningzone.com and we'll see you again soon